I see, I see. Isn't it crazy though? Like my this account was like like I want to say like under fifty percent. It was like forty eight percent like win rate or something like that on the lease with like forty games played or like third like I don't know and like platinum. And like now that it's like getting towards like diamond one like master, it's just like yeah, improving, yeah. improving, improving. Mm. I feel like it's not the worst i mean i don't know i'm just scared that my my support will take damage and maybe use a summoner and i don't want that i want the level three to go off true the question is if you stay into the brush right here how much damage do we have in comparison with how much damage do they have uh, i think we i think we have more we definitely we have co pressure at, at like we'll make co pressure at two maybe if we play the 2v2 right but i don't want to trust Yes, so, so I think that's kind of <laughs> why I just played a little bit back. Okay, and we're talking about like two versus two at level one, because if you stay into the mm -hmm. brush, you're playing for level one to be two, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do we win that? Because at uh, level two yeah. you do. At level two yeah. you do. But right here, even at level one we do. Honestly, like it, Kaisa has her passive, but I, I do a surprising amount of like damage with the uh, spider form Q and ignite. It'll, it'll uh, it, like it'll scare them so much with the damage that they might just exhaust me. Yeah, yeah the thing but... is right here. If you compare yourself with the damage per second Kaisa uh, AD carry, you're never going to win. She has Halo Blades, and you're going to get insta exhausted. Plus, Bard is really useless at one. Like he mm. might be able to hit his Q. Yeah. But you know, it's a flip, and yeah, they're never so... going to, <laughs> to stay close to each other. Plus, if it's master tier, people will be basically expect it and they will not stay close to each other. And then Kaisa mm -hmm. against Elise, it's very, very close. The thing is, if you get yeah. insta exhausted, like your damage per second is a lot worse than Kaisa with mm -hmm. Halo Blades. And consider the wave as well, because you're going to play against the wave if you go long trade. So if you go yeah, short that... trade, you're losing it's because good. you just, you know, go what auto Q and then you're going to get killed by Kaisa and then hit by Sona. So it's an even trade. It's not beneficial for you in any way. And then if you go for long trade, you're still not winning because they have Elo Blaze and Kaisa is very powerful at level 1. Kaisa is the most powerful champion in terms of uh, level 1 fights. Okay. Kaisa even stronger than Draven. Because Draven can't get two axes right here. Even stronger than Jin. I, I can't think about like a, a stronger AD carry than Kaisa, level wow. 1. It's Maybe Zaya. I so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she she's Seriously. strong with the DPS, right? So that's, that's right only if she hits passive, right? True. But how can you trade like short trades? Because you're not going to like auto kill and run, like, right? It, 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 I mean, I, that is that really not bad though? If we did that, like if Bard's sitting in the brush, I'm sitting in brush, and he throws maybe a bind, hits a bind, IQ, and just walk away. Yes, they, they kind of get I get chunked, but it, it, yeah, it's the best case scenario, right? Because <laughs> yeah. what's the worst case scenario? The worst case scenario is Bard misses the Q, and then you get killed by Kaisa as well as you're queuing. And Q Kaisa isolated, it's not not the uh, not fun. But if they do that, if they do that, and it, theirs is also a really short trade, then the wave is gonna, they'll feel confident, you know, and they'll start pushing the wave for level two, and then the wave will be in a really good state for the Shaco gank. If but if ganks. we counter gank, then it becomes flip. Exactly, it's, it's yeah, super yeah. flip. Usually, like an even trade in this matchup is not that bad because at level two, you guys are going to win with Flash Cocoon, and trust me, they are not going to expect it. Yeah. But again, it's still like if you're cheesing against Kaisa level one, it's, it's super flip. Super flip. This game, like literally, no bot lanes let me push into them. Yeah, like, they, they, they always so take the push. Bad. They just AFK'd. So I was like, okay, I'll I'll get free push. I'll get free level three without losing the game. So that's yeah, why yeah. I pushed, even though the original plan was to not push the lane. Yes, the thing is, is your plan really to push, or do you want to do something else? Do you want to control the lane? Like, what's your what's your purpose? Like, let's say when you're going in the lane right now. Uh, like, why do you push? Like, why would you push first of all? I just I pushed here because I wanted to get since they were they weren't in the lane. Like, I, I at least one minion, right? So if we're like trading evenly, like I'm hitting a minion, they're hitting a minion, and I hit the minion first, then I'll get level two maybe on that one minion before them. True. So that's the only reason I hit the first minion. True. But the question is, do you want to crush this wave into the tower, or do you just want to get control of the wave? I pretty much just want to control the, exactly. the, the lane. So yeah. then if you if you if you hit it only one minion, this minion is going to die and you're going to make the way push into them. And it's too mm -hmm. fast. So if you watch challenger players, what they do, whether you watch like Khan or Faker or they basically do this. So they go in the lane if they wanna do the same thing as you. They wanna control the lane for level two advantage. So far so good. But they never hit the same minion. They hit this minion one time, they hit this minion one time, and they hit this minion that one time. This way they, they don't they push too fast. Yeah, they cast it. 
Oh, so they hit two, two melee, one caster. And one caster, yes. So they don't really push okay. too fast. And they're going to get the control of the lane, basically. This way. Okay. So this is basically the plan. Because if you go for three or four auto attacks on one minion, the minion is going to die. And then you're going to eventually push. You don't want to push. You want to mm -hmm. control the lane. You just want to get prior. You just want to get uh, the minions relatively relatively low. So then when you get level to advantage, you can go on them. Because right now, uh, if you remember what Bart said, funny enough, he was right. You pushed it too fast. Because look at what happened. Pushing, 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 pushing. And then right now, can we all in at level two? Mm, not, not very uh, hard. Unless we have vision of jungler. Yeah. Very hard, right? You wanted the way to be here, not not here. Okay. So this is basically a bad push right here. Okay, good. So we're going to go right to the problem. So 530. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, display, 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 display. So right here. Okay. You played good, you get pushed in, so far so good, farming pretty good, wave management was pretty good until here. And then let's see what happened. A bit of lag right here. Uh, you went for the flash, I saw it, you got a kill. And then here, what was your thought process? Because I saw uh, that you hesitated a little bit. Three, six. I, I didn't really count the minions fast enough, so I was just trying to evaluate the wave <laughs> before I did anything. Okay, uh, okay. And, and then... I, I felt like since the wave was like in this, this state, I felt like if I back right here, like her death timer is about this near the same time. So the wave is still going to be in this position, like position. Like when she gets back to lane, I get back to lane. It's going to be like pretty much where that blue minion is at worst. So you're saying that the wave is coming into us and right now we go into the recall. And once Kais is going to come back in the lane in face, it doesn't matter because you're still going to be uh, close to your yeah. tower, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, but the first assumption is, let's see if it's true. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six minions. And spiders, so six minions, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven minions. Oh, I didn't count this one. Okay, one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven minions. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight minions. Eight against seven. What do you think about this wave? Uh, with the the way the the HP is, and the HP looks pretty neutral. Like I mean, not neutral. Um, similar. True. Like, true. So, yeah. what will happen so, right now in the next ten seconds? In the next 10 seconds, they'll just fight, and it'll be where the, like, her little ghost is. Like, her little death, yeah. you see that, in between yeah. the minions? Yeah, yeah. so it's going it'll to stay like right in there. this position. True, mm -hmm. in the next 10 seconds. But let's think about in the next 30 seconds, because this play, if you recall and come back in the lane phase, this is 30 seconds, mm -hmm. right? So, the qu my question is, would this wave stay here for 30 seconds? Is the enemy wave no. big enough to mm -hmm. slow push? No. So this It's going to go into them. Exactly. So but that's that's do? good though. I like that. If the wave is into them, then that gives us pr pressure for dragon, right? Because they'll be farming the minions, and we can make a play on dragon or invade. Get We're vision. talking about exactly this place, so right? Right now, right now, like exactly right here. Let's say if I'm playing Elise, what should I do? Me, I would recall, but you're saying that I should push hard. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But why okay. is recall bad? That's my question. Hmm. Okay, so if I pu if I don't push in, then I maybe miss three minions. Okay, but what will happen with the wave? Gold total. What will happen but, with the wave? Because if you recall here and then come back in the lane phase, how how is the wave going to be? Because we were saying that there are eight minions be... in the enemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even into a slow push thirty seconds in. Slow push into Anywhere. them, right? Yeah, yeah, thirty yes, seconds. Yes, yes, but the, it's it's actually so so much worse, so much worse. Then if you push the wave, you crush it, and the wave is bouncing into you. And then Shaco, when he comes, he can gank first, kill them, and then go into Drake. Okay. I guess so that, no yeah. matter what, before recalling, it's better to push unless, that, let's say you have like 10 minions against 4 minions, and you're like, hey, I'm going to recall, and when I come back in the lane phase, the wave is still going to be the same, still going to be frozen right here. Okay, that's Christmas. I can recall instantly. But unless that's the case, you should always look to push before recalling. Okay. Because here I saw some sort of hesitation. You wanted to recall. I don't know if you pressed. Yes, you, you mm -hmm. pinged Bard. You pinged Bard. That's why I, I think Bard, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Bard knew it. Bard knew it. And then right here it goes from worse to worse. So right here, uh, knowing that the wave is exactly right here and knowing that the wave is right here, you know that you're not going to crash. And you committed to push. So if you committed to yeah. push the first wave, you need to commit to push the next wave as well. So here, if I'm playing at least I'm tilted. I'm pinging. Assistance, assistance. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> yeah, I was kind of confused. What are you doing? <laughs> Cause like yeah, it was it was it was a little little interesting there, but I, I think right now, in the end though the wave is gonna be like 
sort of like they, I think they uh, what did this. they do here? They did something wrong. They froze in the way, right? Look at this. Let's let's go on the like speed up. They froze in the way. So you have a huge lead. You are up in CS. Do you know what happens after this phase? She's 60 farm, you're 30 farm. And if you do this in Challenger, you 100% guaranteed lose the game. Against the Challenger AD carry. Against Saber, let's say. And they freeze, look at this. Yeah. Freezing, 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 freezing. We're making a play, we're making a play. True, yeah. the play is good, the play is good, okay. But they are freezing and they also get some advantage. What if you crash the wave into the tower and then you have a wave that is bouncing into you? They don't get that much of an advantage, but you also do this play. It's going to be so much better if you make this play and the wave was crashed and not frozen here. Mm -hmm. But don't you think they have a little bit of freedom too? If the wave uh, crashed and then they don't have anything? Because right now, they've just been AFK farming, right? Because AD carries don't want to miss any CS, whereas at least is really low economy. And I am able to do these things. I can go into the jungle, I can farm the dragon and control the whole bot side. Whereas so they're just, oh, I'm an AD carry. I'm going to hit every minion. And so just here, do nothing. Okay, so what what's better right here to get a huge advantage by uh, by pushing but wave I, and I, making I, sure? I agree that your your gank thing was this was smarter than uh, yes, like the crash, in, right? in terms of full game state. Yeah, that that's probably the best play is to let them yes. crash and then gank dragon versus letting them. But also like like I, in my head, like it being stuck on their turret is also I think not terrible we but, wanna yeah. we wanna think Not about optimal. how do they wanna play the game as a team composition do they wanna fight for drake do they wanna fight like this mm, what do, does Sona kaisa have to do in general and also the team composition all of the game what do they need to do they need to just scale through so, so farming happens? is is their objective yes, yes. so if you crash the wave <laughs> and you 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 give them the freedom to move okay kaisa come here i'm at least what do i wanna do i wanna kill you okay come to drake you wanna scale I want to give you freedom to come to the Drake. You can come to the Drake because I need to snowball. I want to force you to come to the Drake. I see. So the team composition says, hey, we need to play Chris. So do you want to come to the Drake? Okay, you can come. Sona, level five, completely useless champ. Completely okay. useless champ. Okay. So those are the things. It's, it's game sense. It's, it's like, you see how subtle they are? It's wave management. Yeah. It's, I mean, obviously we don't talk about Bronze, so we will... We'll talk about those things if you want to oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Grandmaster no, no, Challenge. No, I, I, I completely agree. Yeah. Okay, and here this play was pretty forced. Let's see. What was it? No, no, no. Okay, so wave is coming into you. This is good. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Okay, this is a bit harder. To play. <laughs> is this... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Seiko, Cocoon, stealing the kill. What? No. What do you think about the wave? Oh, this wave is is just frozen for them. It would be it would freeze. Like I can freeze this wave. That's what I think. Okay, so you can like stay right here and to can freeze it. Okay, and I mean obviously, that's fine. What are the options? Like okay, you can freeze. Through. I think a uh, freeze or recall. Okay, you can freeze. You can recall, or you can push. Of course, pushing mm -hmm. is the worst because I mean how how much push power do you have to push all of those minis, and then of course you would have to push the next wave as well that is going to come. So not very optimal because by the time that you you have the wave into the tower, the cast is going to be in the lane. So it's not optimal to push it. You agree with that? Yeah. Perfect. So right now you can you can either like uh, you know stay here and freeze, or a recall first, and then come back in the lane phase. So what's the mm -hmm. disadvantage of this? What you're doing right now? So you're staying, 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 uh, staying, staying, staying. Definitely, staying, staying. I have a thousand gold. Exactly, my man. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then right now when this guy comes, he's so happy because he's like. Okay, I lost 10 minutes, but I mean, who cares? Because right now, Alice has 1k gold. So what's the difference be between her being able to get, you know, blasting one, alternator, or any other item, or her making me lose like 10 farm, but right now she can't kill me that easy because we have guardians, we have weeks exhaust. So I'm scared, but not so scared. So this is the guy's mindset. So instead of instead of freezing and staying right here for a long time, you should have what? You should have just streamed the wave so it stays in that position for a long time. Yeah. And then recall. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's good. I, I think I was looking at my ignite and just felt like when Bard came back, they just die again. Like I freeze it right here, she walks up, Bard gets here at the same time she gets there, and then I just murder her. True, but Even it's the same thing. It's the same thing if you recall. It, if you re yeah. And but you also get that. Like five minions. Oh. <laughs> uh... right? No, not five minutes because you have like let's say eight minutes right here, and it's going to be like four, so you miss like two to four minutes, something like that. I mean, the thing is, you're still going to have like a pretty like you're going to get the gold spend, and I then can buy, after I can buy uh, ruby crystal and yeah. uh, amp home. Not, not the bad. Yes, yes, it's good. It is, yes, 
So here, how many minis do we need to kill? Let's see. Right here. Uh, let's see. One, three, four, five, six, two, six, six, seven. Seven. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Maybe okay. just kill the cannon and go back. Yeah, exactly. You should kill the cannon and then just recall. And our recall of obviously not here. I was just going for go for either. Well, I will personally go right here because they all think that I'm roaming or doing something crazy. And then when they see yeah. Shaco right here and they face check him, like this is our comes, let's say. Uh, if they don't see Elise, enemy, jump, oh, enemy bot lane is going to ping. So this is like the mind game. But again, like the, the big problem mm -hmm. is the wave management. Because you're staying and then they are so happy because staying, 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 staying. Right here, you could have been in the laney phase right now. You could have been back in the laney mm -hmm. phase. And what happens if you're in back in the laney phase? You can, obviously they are not going to see you, but it sneaks behind and then you can make a play. Yeah. Compared to this, because right now you're stuck. Like right now, of course but you're I, forced I mean, to... if we if, if we look at the... the... Actual timing, like go back. Right here? Back back to where Cannon is. Like like uh back one more. Or like maybe like right after the kill. Okay. So I wanna see like okay, cause Bard Bard like recalls, right? Like right here. I should just kill Cannon right here, walk into brush. That's that. I feel like that's the real optimal, right? Kill you, Cannon you, right you now and then walk into brush. So the best freeze, the best freeze is when the enemy has the enemy wave has minimum three more minions, maximum five more minions, nothing more. So we know that this minion wave is about six minions. So how many minions should we have? So six minions. So it should be nine. We should have a wave in the enemy team with minimum nine, maximum how much? Maximum eleven minions. That's all. So yeah, yeah, cannon right yeah, here. One, and then two, back. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cannon and back. True. What I will do, I will let the cannon because it's tanker and like you can maintain the freeze right here for longer. It's stronger. A cannon is stronger, does more damage. I would kill exactly two casters, and then I will recall. Because okay. what do you prefer? Have like cannon. Like how is the cannon going to maintain your wave, or how is the casters what, what, going to maintain the wave? What's the goal of two cannon? I mean, uh, two casters versus cannon. It's not because the goal, so it's around sixty-five, and then right here it's basically twenty-eight two casters, like it's fourteen fourteen. Okay. But it's not really the goal. It's the fact that you can kite the cannon easier. So if you want to maintain the the wave right here, you can kite it fa uh, like easier. And in addition of that, it's tankier. Okay. Like it's have more has more armor, right? Has more stats. Yeah. Compared to a caster that he can't. Uh, that he can't really kite too, too well. And then right here, I'm pretty sure he did like another big one. Yeah. Oh, 920. Okay, let's see. Good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So uh, you're reacting to the map pretty good, but sometimes you're forcing it. And let's let's take a look. I, I feel like the, the only thing that really caught me out of guard was the uh, Zin Zhao on the brush. Everything yeah, else was yeah. really expected this game. But you were, you were mentioning it, if you remember. You were like, I'm going to go in. We win 2v3 as well. Anyways. Do you remember? Because yeah. you said it. I, I think I said it, but then it happened, and then like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, actually, no, we don't. <laughs> no, you actually win to v3, but not like that. Not if you face check and he, he's oh, in the brush and yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. know that it's coming. Mm -hmm. Right? It, that was the worst yeah, case. Yeah. If, if, if we can like pop Sona, yes, then yes, yes. maybe some kind of 2v3 happens, but not in that, that state where he gets the first hit on us. Yes, and you don't know that he's there, and also. Uh, if you see him coming on bot lane and you fight, that's something else compared to, you know, mm -hmm. if he's just in the brushes, yeah. Okay, so right here, uh, you're going at some point, yes, you're forced to slope, we're sure, sure, you stay into the tower, not not, not too good right here. Uh, I, like, I don't like what you're going to do right here, so you're pinging on Maui or Maui, this is good, this is good. You didn't really go for the way, but you, because you need to snowball, this is perfectly fine, but, so the, the, the play was good, but the, your reaction timing and your... Uh, your play style adaptation, it wasn't good. Like right now, you're looking for the, the play. You're looking to do the play. And Shaco has committed to going top. This guy, he's low mana, low HP. There is no way you're going to do something right here. You should look there first to see that intention. But look what you're doing. So you're wasting one second, two seconds, three seconds. Look at the clicking. Four seconds, you see the clicking. Five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds. Mm -hmm. And remember, this is already an overextension. So this is mistake That's after true. mistake, you see? Okay. Eight seconds, nine, and then and then right now you recall. But again, same thing. You prefer to push because this is slow pushing to them. So what can they do? They can just press B, and then when they come in the laning phase, the wave is right here, and it's again bad for, for you. Okay. So pushing the wave before recalling, so you can have the next wave bouncing to you, is always better if you can do it. Okay. Super super important. So we didn't really play too too well around tempo. 
So next time we're going to do a session where I tell you what to do, like every decision. So I can basically okay. get to to play. Maybe we'll play bot lane if you want to play bot lane again. There is a problem. Or maybe yeah. we'll play something. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, uh, let's let's go to the next mistakes right here. So you slow pushing. Oh yeah, this one, this one, this one. Sure, 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 sure. So let's take a look at this. Yeah, so we both got out. That's actually pretty good. I'm surprised they didn't get a single kill there. Like I feel like if Sona ults his bard, like he dies, doesn't he? Like he, he dies die. for sure. Yeah, he dies for sure. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, again, like uh, the problems that I had in this game. So first of all, I mean obviously wave management. Uh, second of all, just uh, your game sense and the way you reacted to the map. Third of all, it was camera control. You will see on the on the replay that you were very tunneled with a locked camera and you didn't really see people when you were approaching team fights, you didn't really move your camera forward. So that's also like an issue. You'll, you'll see right there what I'm talking about. At the moment, it's not that severe. I need to first focus on the wave management before anything else. Okay, let's see. He actually did get ult seed. Oh, but they engaged on me instead of Bard. Yeah, they, have, they have like zero damage. So right here, this is good. They're also pinging at some point. Perfect, perfect. You try to do this, sure, sure, sure. And then right here, right here. What should we do as a team? As a team? A team? The yeah, dragon, right? <laughs> True, I mean, I mean obviously, that's what I right? want to do. Yeah. Of course, we want to go. Okay, do you need to be here? Uh, Not necessarily. True. But I feel like it, it makes everyone's like time go by a lot faster if I am there. True. So first yeah. of all, you don't you don't actually need to be here theoretically. Uh, Zach is top. You have Poppy right here. You have two people that there is no way they are going to contest, and you have a wave on both. What's the wave, the state of the wave here? Uh, it looks like it's pushing from the dots. Yes, but the thing is, the problem with this one is that you didn't really check the wave state because uh, it's okay. I maybe look at the mini map. Yeah, but the mini map doesn't always tell you the. The correct state. The truth. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. true. And then here you should ping Shaco danger, danger, because yes, you're right. Wave is coming to you after this play. After did this, this man play, take my wave. Yes, he did. He did. <laughs> oh after this, God. you should press B, and when you're going to come in the laning phase, guess what? Wave is coming right here. Bard can make a play from behind, and also Shaco can come if he wants. So here you should ping him danger, danger. Wave is coming into you. You press B here. When you're going to come in the laning phase, the wave is going to be close proximity to your tower, which allows Bart to actually be able to make a play. So this is how League of Legends should be played in Challenger. Because if you manage yeah, the yeah. waves like this, Kaisa can't play the game and she will be tilted. Because she will be she will feel choiceless. She will have nothing Same. to do. Because right now you're, yeah. you're you're trying to make this play. And again, like having a freeze into the tower and forcing the enemy team to just just overextend and then you flank them and you kill them is so much better than you know flipping like this because i mean let's be honest she could have stayed here w the brush and she's just fine because she's going to see you compared to like face checking this but i felt like sona or Ka i didn't think it was going to be kaisa i thought it was going to be sona to be honest yeah i that's... thought sona was going to put a pink in that brush and yeah i felt like that was going to be a free kill because that was good that was how good. much like pressure we had on the map i could have 100 dove that right there but it's just what's the point uh, it was pretty like greedy blue. because we don't know where yeah. it's in and you didn't really have that much mana, mm -hmm. so you don't even have you have mana for EW and that's all. And then mm -hmm. R, uh, R E W. I mean, that's enough to kill the Kaiser one, right there, but one. it's just yeah. If you die for it, it's pretty bad. And what if they have exhaust? Yeah. What if they have flash? Like it's too many variables. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I was just like, mm, I'll just go blue. <laughs> okay, good. Then the last thing that I want to talk about uh, for today before I give you the, the replay. So obviously there are lots of mm -hmm. things, but I don't want, I want to use every every second of the session like wisely, and I want to focus on the, the most important things. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. So 1430, it was here. Yeah, 1450. Okay, so you got to mid. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, put the pink cord. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, right here. Very disappointing play. So you are yeah. staying here. Sure, good. Pinging, pinging, good, good. Good. Like here, what options do we have? We can push mid or we can go top. Or of course, you can go into the jungle, but that's not very optimal. How do you decide if you, what do you want to do? Well, I saw Victor, right? And then I saw Poppy. Uh, I just I just thought about the numbers of the, who would be there. And I think I saw end up being like four people were top, right? Like they literally like hard committed to getting something on the top side, their whole Yeah, but right now, right now, I mean right now, how do you decide if you play here, right here? Like what do you do after pushing the wave? 
you see Zach fighting with the with the guys in Zao top lane. What do you do right now to decide whether you should push the oh, wave? Oh, I, I should look at the Zin Zao. Look at it. Do you, rem yeah. do you remember about it? Look at your camera control. So first of all, you should never take this. You should like look at this is an urgency, and you want to know what mm -hmm. you're doing. And if you want to go there, you go there without taking the word. If you want to push me, then take the tower. You want to push me, then take the tower without taking the word. So you're very slow. And mm -hmm. look at your camera. Look at your camera. Like you're going top. But you see that you're not looking, and this happens so much mm -hmm. in the games. That's the problem. Yeah, I think a lot. I'm just like holding spacebar. Yeah, this is not yeah. good. Not good. This is holding you back. So for master tier, you can probably get master tier because you're good enough for that. But grandmaster challenger, we can't with the light camera. Okay. So we have to. You have to really move your camera forward in those situations to see what's happening and to gather the intel. And I mean, I can I can keep my light camera. I have um hotkeys for swapping i just need like some some games i'm just like in the zone and like actually oh. like swapping and like looking, looking but like some and, games yeah, yeah. i'm just like yeah it's yeah, just it, it needs to be more consistent I agree. it's okay if you don't if you don't play with uh if you don't play with uh, unlocked but you have to like click there and move and navigate that's the most yeah. important thing i i know play, players in jungle you know woody players challenger players that play with locked camera and they're still there and they're very smart and everything but they are clicking there and they're looking they're checking the map but if you're playing mm -hmm. with locked and you're not checking that can become an issue. So that's the thing. Okay, good. So let me let me give you the 